All right, we cleaned up all underneath here. And we're about to roll this boat back. Nah, man, I'm happy for that. Get it out of the way. Just set it here. Is that is that other stone out over there? Yeah. All right. Well, we got we got to go real close to that gate, but don't hit the gate. We need to keep the boat to that side. So. Fun, fun. It should just roll right off of that. It shouldn't be that heavy. Yeah. All right, now, what? how close are we to that gate? You need to come bring the tongue this way. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you gotta push hard. There you go. What's up? Okay. What's up? Yeah, we'll die. Yeah, we'll die. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, yeah, don't hit the boat in that. Uh, don't go back. Don't go back. We might need to go forward. Hold on. Oh, uh, we need to go forward. Hey, come push. Come push forward right here. Right here, on this side. Keep pushing it over towards the front. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Keep pushing it that way up there. Now, is it clear now? Okay, back, go back in the front, Nard. Yeah, keep pushing it over. Okay. Up, 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 up. Blue Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Push the front over more. Okay. Now, now straighten it back up. Now go back the other way. Okay. Come on, keep going. Okay, push it a lot. Push it, push it way over. Stop, 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 stop. Push the front way over. There you go. Just keep doing that. Keep doing that. Let it roll, same time. Push and roll. Push, push, push. Push the front over. There you go. Push it more. Keep pushing it. Okay, start straightening it back up. Whoa, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. Uh, I, I'm, hey, y'all stop, it's gonna run away, man. Somebody come back here, it's rolling too fast. Somebody come here. Man, you don't get caught right there, Joyce. Somebody come to the back. Man, it's rolling fast. Okay. Go back slow. Push the front over. There you go. Push it over. There you go. Again. Perfect. Straight back. Straight back. Straight back. Ah, okay. Okay, boss. Right there. Perfect. Put a stone. All I have to do is put these pieces on now. So out here at this boat, here at this trailer, I'm gonna build a tongue extension. Now here where I'm at in the Philippines on this island in Iloilo province here in, near Iloilo city, I could not find a three inch square tube and this like these hitches and all are set up to go onto a three inch tube. Apparently somebody else couldn't before either because they made this tongue out of two 
three inch channels welded together and I couldn't even find any three inch channel. I could only find this four inch channel right here. So what I'm gonna do is split this and make it into two pieces and put it together the same as they did right here. And I'm gonna swing it under. I'll get those chains moved, get that jack moved. And I'm gonna swing it under. So I put a plate right there and a plate on the other side with a pinhole through it. This I'll have a pin. Um, I'll put another ball up here that when that goes under, it'll lock in up into this hitch. And I'll put a new hitch that I have out on the very end. What I'm gonna do is make a, a pivoting tilt. But what I'm gonna do is have some tabs on this also so it can only rock so far and then the chains will stop it. It'll be underneath right there. And so when it pivots, only so far it can go and then the chains will take it up, take up tension, you know, and keep it from rocking anymore. Um, then I can remove that. If I don't want it on there, I can take the pin out of the back and just remove it. Don't have to have it on there. I uh, could even make me a little cradle for it right here on the side. That's the method. I know there's other methods, but this is the method that I'm doing. And then while we're at it too, I'm going to put a brand new roller right back here at the back. Uh, so I'm going to make a couple little eyes stick up. And I've got the rollers here for that, and I'll be putting new rollers. And so the first one I'm going to put is right on the rear so that the bow of this boat, when it comes up, it can roll nice and easy, bringing it up onto this trailer right here. So that's another thing I'm going to be doing. And I'm wanting to add a couple more rollers down through the middle underneath it. Um, I'll probably maybe try to get a measurement or something. I don't know if I'm going to do them with the boat on the trailer or not. I just haven't decided yet. But it's going to be nice having that tilt because that means the back of the trailer can rock down as the boat's coming up onto it. And as the weight shifts, it'll drop itself back into place. And if I'll have me a couple little guides couple little guides here to where it can lock down on this hitch real easy one of the things I'm concerned is I might need to order a new hitch where was I at the other day and they had them oh yeah right up here in the in the city I think I seen some at one of the stainless steel places they actually had uh, the slot in hitches with the ball on the truck and they had the tongue right here they had the coupler uh, they had those right up there in the city at that stainless steel shop, which I thought was kind of odd they had those there. But uh, these days, man, I can get on Lazada, Shopee, Amazon, and get a better choice of exactly which one I want. But I think I do want to upgrade that, though. Um, that one right there gives a little trouble. Or either I'll put... I, my concern is if I got a ball there and it don't just want to slip in nice and smooth and it's jamming on all of this underneath, which I've had trouble with this one doing, uh, that it's not going to latch on there easy and you're going to have problems while you're out there at the water. While they're cutting that, look here, Royal Mail's getting some charcoal going and she is gonna fix up some of this tanigi. So if you don't know what that tanigi is, that is a wahoo. So you end up with a lot of meat in the freezer? Huh? A lot of meat in the freezer? Yes, for that <laughs> That's nice, Why? Did you fix any uh, tanilao? Yeah. Wow, nice. Well, I've got the boat back up underneath the nipper now where it's shaded here. I can work. Um, 
I did make a mistake here. I should have put that exhaust tube on as I was setting that motor in. It's going to be kind of tight. Uh, there is a little bit of room. I can slip one of those boots up. Thought, oh, I'll put that in afterwards, but I was mistaken on that. It's my bad. So it's a simple fix. I'll get it done. And I'll work in here tonight when it's cooler, not so hot. It's very hot down in that engine well you get in there. And uh, I, I just actually like just coming out here in the evening time and working on this. So I need to check the alignment and make sure everything's aligned good with this shaft. Now, I don't have the alignment tool here. That's one thing I'm lacking. There's a, a tool that's shaped like this shaft that you slide in there and you make sure if the engine's straight this way, this way, this way, this way. So the shaft just slide in nice and smooth without any resistance and into the gimbal bearing. And if it's not straight, well, this goes in to the rear of the motor, which is called the coupler. And this part back here is on that gimbal bearing. And if it's not straight, you're gonna put a lot of load on that coupler and damage it. And you're gonna damage your gimbal bearing as well. Um, one thing I can do to make sure if I want it to is I have an extra one of these sitting right here. I've got an extra one. And I doubt I'm gonna be using this. And it feels like that that is uh, a little bit worn there on those u joints so i may just knock those caps out on that and just use the shaft itself or an alignment tool make sure it all slides in there nice and smooth and if not get the engine lined up properly before i slide that together so i may do that here after a while now here right now i just had mop mop to remove this jack now there's something none of you ever noticed in my past videos and that is that the jack was on the wrong side, at least by our standards in the United States. So normally the driver would be the same one connecting up the trailer. And that means you would get out the driver's side of your truck and you would walk over to this side and crank your jack right here, letting it down on the ball from this side. Same side as the driver's side of the truck. Now, I guess if I was in a country that they drove on the right-hand side, that would have been correct. But it wasn't correct. And also, I didn't like where it was at when you go through a low place. Um, all this hanging down right there at that lowest point of if you went through a dip, it's known to snag those bolts. And it's going to be in the way for the project I'm doing right now. So what I'm going to have Mock Mock to do is pick that up. And we're going to go right back here and we're going to put it back right in this area here and we're actually going to weld it in place. So lift that up and see if it'll set on that four inch channel. See, sets on there perfect. See there? And then, then I can rock, just leave that like it is. It's okay. So right there, you see that? You don't even have to bolt on. It sets perfect on that four inch channel. There it is, and all you need to do is take that welder and uh, and weld it on, okay? Yeah. And we're making our own tube right now. I'm having to make do with what I could. I talked about this earlier. So this was a two-inch flange on here. I really need an inch and a half. I can help you hold that. You're gonna tack that on somewhere. Let's get up. See, I wanna make sure I don't hit my hand nothing. Okay, that's all clear right there. Oh, uh, we gotta make sure that this <clears throat> Don't rock around and hit this. So we got to come back a little bit. Uh, well, it's just that piece of wood. Just t take a hammer right there behind you and tap that piece of wood back. I got it sitting on the jack there. There you go. Okay. So we're going to need it back a little bit. I'll tell you what, let's rock it in the up position. That way we know when we're clear. 
yeah we need to make sure we're clear when it rocks like that so that's a good position right there yeah so uh see if you can get your attack right down in that corner right there Pack you another one right there in that corner. Okay, and I'm gonna let go. Now, I'd say just don't weld it the whole way, just weld a short weld, maybe like a mm. three quarters or an inch, a short one there, a short one here, and a short one there, and that's all you need, okay? No more. Yeah, yeah, don't try to weld the whole thing. Actually, the jack will be even stronger there because it's jacking way out here on this tongue. And it'll actually even be able to raise the boat higher because the further back you are like that right there, the more height you're going to get. Um, works out perfect. That's absolutely perfect. So June's going to primer the inside of this steel now. So, And we're going to primer it and paint it so that before we weld it together, it's at least got some protection inside in there. Oh, making up square tube. It more, looks more like a rectangle tube, but we had to cut some off of one three quarters of an inch. But now that'll give us the tube we need. So we primer the inside of it. It's a pretty thick wall. It lasts a while, but there's a little bit of deflection in one of those so oh, oh, oh. make sure they're even here okay all right they are okay Meanwhile, out here, I'll show you guys cut these plates right here. And we'll be coming back, putting these plates on right back here at the back. It'll get a hole right back here for a pin. And you get put on back here. And then on each side, and that's where we'll pin it through. And then up here, about where this jack was at before, we'll put two more. And I'm going to slightly bend them out at the bottom. I'll probably bend them before we put them on there. I'll heat them up. We'll take a big hammer. And we'll curl out the bottom of it just a little bit. And so when the tongue goes to drop in and drop on this ball, well, it'll work like a guide for it. And it'll keep it all nice and straight. From that point further out to the new hitch, it is going to add an additional 7 feet that seven feet further, I can back the boat out into the water. Boy, it's a hot day. Well, I'm out here working on the Sea Ray, working on it again. Um, I'll talk about a couple little things that I've had to do. And one of the things I'm working on right now, as you see this little fitting right here, this clicks on to the out drive. And there's a little reservoir tank like this right here. This is a spare one I have, a little reservoir tank right here for the drive oil, the gear lube that's in the out drive. And this little hose right here hooks on down to the end. And like here's a spare unit I have, that little piece right here clicks on right down underneath here. And every single one of them, everything I ever find, they're always broke off. Now, I don't have the part here. I'm going to order it. But interim, 
while I wait for the part, I'm gonna modify this one so I can put a hose back on it. So in my drawer, I had, uh, or my little bins of all my hardware, I had this little uh, fitting right here for like vacuum or anything like that. And it does not have a check valve in it. That is just hollow inside. And this one, you can cut it off and use it for multiple sizes. So what I thought I'd do is just, I um, already started on it, drilling this out just a little bit where I can put that fitting down inside here. And then we'll get this thing fitted on there. Oh man, there it went inside perfect and snug. I mean, nice and snug. That is perfect, perfect. I'll follow up just a little bit right there on the outside. Like I say, this is not gonna hold any kind of like pressure. It's just a free flow like drip that keeps the, the lower unit topped off with gear oil at all time. So we'll just dress up with a little bit of harden around that outside right there for a little extra security. And we'll let that dry. I want to blow through it and make sure it's not restricted. Nice. Just perfect. So there it is. And it's really rigid too. Because while I drilled that perfect and shoved it in tight. Now see a minute. It's down in there. Uh, that's That's got it right there. Be nice and rigid. Honestly, probably wouldn't even have to have a replacement. And the diameter hose here. Let's get this old unit over here. Let's see. Actually, that back one is just the right size. Yeah, it's an old hose here. It's split. But that back one is actually the right size right there. So that will be that right there. And uh, I can actually install this. So I'm down here in the engine compartment. And this is that reservoir right here. I just got to screw in the end of it before when I ship this thing so it wouldn't drip there. Let's see if we can get that spread open. There we go. Uh, I'm going to stretch my arms in back here. All righty. Get this one flared back to her. <clears throat> well, we're in here. Still doing an alignment on this motor. We got to get it that shaft perfectly centered with that gimbal bearing. That means we got to adjust these motor mounts to the height for this boat. They're on the mounts instead of what they were on the other boat. What you got, Cap? Run them all the way down. Yeah, why? Uh, 